Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. I've been using the Huawei MateBook X Pro for a long time now. Went on a bunch of trips, just been using it as my daily laptop for a while. So figured it is time to actually do a full review on this guy, especially because Huawei just released this in the US. So it is available, I believe, Microsoft stores, Amazon, and Newegg. And when you buy this laptop, you actually can get a $300 gift card to where you buy it. So if you order it on Amazon, you get a $300 Amazon gift card. Now there are two separate models of this, a base model and an upgraded model. The base model is at $1,200. The upgraded model is what I have here is actually $1,500. i5 versus i7, eight gigs of RAM versus 16 gigs. I will post the full list of details over there, but also noteworthy is the graphics card that is actually included, especially if you're looking to do some light gaming on an Ultrabook. So with those eighth gen Intel processors, a 3K touchscreen display, this looks to be one of the most competitive price Ultrabooks out there right now, especially with the deal they have going with that $300 back. Really makes this a very interesting option, something you really might want to take a look at. Let's get into the full review. The first thing I'd like to talk about is the overall design of the MateBook X Pro, and Huawei has hit it out of the park. This is easily one of the best design laptops I have ever used, and I consistently get people asking me, hey, what type of laptop is that? That looks amazing. This laptop really does check a lot of boxes. It's easy to open with one hand, which I know some people actually do care about. It has a very well-placed fingerprint scanner, as you can see, very quick, very accurate. A 91% screen to bezel ratio, which is crazy and really gorgeous to look at because it is a 3K display as well. In my opinion, they're doing the right thing with ports. They have a headphone jack, two USB type C slots, you'll see one is for charging, and then flipping it over on the other side, you have a USB type A slot, which is the best way to really transition into USB type C, because of course everybody has an, some sort of peripheral that uses USB type A still. On the top of the laptop, you will see that Huawei logo, and I also wanna make note, I actually accidentally whacked the top of the laptop against a corner of a counter pretty hard, and you'll see it actually left a little dent in there, but absolutely nothing about the laptop was compromised. I actually was worried that it might uh, go through and go into that display actually, but that is definitely not the case. Everything is working fine, and it has been for the past month and a half since I accidentally did that. The MateBook X Pro is only 2.9 pounds, very easy to carry with one hand, and only 0.6 inches thick. I also wanna show off how Windows Hello is integrated into that power button, so I did shut down the laptop completely and you'll see I just pressed the button once to actually power on there I am in the reflection of the laptop but while it boots up you'll notice up at the top hello Tim welcome it actually registered my fingerprint scanner when I powered on that laptop super quick super simple amazing integration you do have a full-size keyboard with a bunch of shortcuts up at the top as expected here's a listen I will bump up the decibels for this part The keys are also backlit. They have two separate settings, uh, lower and higher brightness, and then you can have them off as well. I find when I'm in a lower light scenario, these keys light up just enough. I have no issues seeing them in the dark or any dimly lit room. Overall, I would say the keyboard is above average. I can type on it very comfortably for long periods of time. It has a little shorter key travel than I'm used to, about 1.1 millimeters. So I would say overall above average. Now, of course, you will make note of something above that seven. There it is, the camera button. It is not a software button. It is actually a hardware button that moves when you press it. So the hidden camera is right there. You press it and it will lock. And you'll see that uh, a lot of people that will actually tape up above their webcams, you don't have to do that on this laptop. You can actually just hide it and you don't have to worry about it being active and you can see it for any potential reasons. Now, when it comes to that camera placement, uh, it's okay. I'm not the biggest fan of the angle, the lower to higher angle, as opposed to it being more eye level, uh, but it's doable. I found that when I ask people what it looks like, they're like, ah, it looks okay. It's, re it's really not the best angle. I find that uh, I'll sometimes use a different webcam, an external webcam, if I have an important meeting or something like that, just as not to 
have it look a little odd, but of course this isn't even an issue if you don't do a lot of web chats, but if you do a lot of casual webcam chats, it's really not that big of a deal. When it comes to the trackpad, I actually like it. It's very accurate. Uh, it scrolls just as quick as I want it to. The only thing I really wish was that it to be a little bit bigger. That would be just about the only thing I wish, but overall, since you do have a three to two display, uh, you can get between top and bottom and left and right from the trackpad alone. Uh, it, so overall, it does the job. I just personally wish it was just a little bit bigger. When it comes to that display, it is gorgeous. Gets extremely bright, brighter than average for sure. Um, the, it is a touchscreen, very accurate. I've had no issues when using the touchscreen to scroll or it being inaccurate for whatever reason. Now, if I go ahead and close out of this, let's open up a video real quick so you can kind of check that out. But it is a three to two dis uh, aspect ratio. So 3000 by 2000 screen resolution. So it is, uh, you'll see a couple black bars towards the top of a video, but very slim black bars, but they are there because of that three to two display. And of course, it just kind of depends on your preference when you're using something maybe like Excel. You have a taller screen so you can see more content on that screen or potentially if you are loading up an article or something like that or even a Twitter feed, you can go ahead and just see more without having to scroll down. Next up, you do have quad speakers powered by Dolby. I do have a song playing right now. It's at 38 at the moment. And this gets more than loud enough to fill a room. If I turn it up all the way, I'm gonna continue talking so you can potentially hear me, but this is too loud for my room uh, in general. So I find that watching YouTube videos, listening to music is really great out of the speakers considering how small this laptop is. Definitely above average speaker quality. Now this laptop does run Windows 10 and that's not what this review is. So I'm really not gonna go into it. But I find that uh, in terms of speed running a bunch of tabs at once, it does a good job handling everything thrown its way. Each Gen i7 processor and the one that I have is fantastic. Uh, even using Chrome with a bunch of different um, tabs open, I find that the 16 gigs of RAM is more than enough. Handles everything that I need to. Here's the Verge loading up. You'll see scrolling very quick even while it loads. And this is one of the more intensive websites that you can find. Great for Microsoft Suite, uh, Office, Excel, Word, uh, anything that you really need to throw at it, it does its job. So even, uh, even if you do get the i5 model, I really wouldn't be worried unless you're doing something very intensive. Um, it should run just fine. Now, a big question I've been getting with the upgraded model, having that NVIDIA GeForce MX 150 graphics card is, can you play Fortnite on it? What's gaming like? And you'll see here, I have a wireless mouse plugged into the USB type A slot and it actually runs way better than you would expect. It is pretty consistently at 60 frames a second, and also with these Battle Royale games, and of course other games as well, sound is very important. So since these have very good speakers, your spatial awareness is very good when it comes down to actually locating where sound is coming from. So overall, when it comes down to it, some light gaming will work just fine. You'll see I'm running through, I'm actually getting consistent uh, frames per second. So I can actually put up a fight here. You'll see here, I actually just got a kill while making this video, pretty awesome. But, and I actually do live stream on Twitch. If you're interested, link down below. Be sure to follow there. We get a lot of live streams going, but light gaming, it works really well. Uh, I'm actually surprised and impressed, especially with that 8th Gen i7 and that NVIDIA graphics card. In terms of battery life, it is very good. Definitely above average, it has a 57.4 watt hour battery uh, and they say you enjoy up to about 12 hours of video playback. I would say you could potentially get maybe 11 and a half on that. For me, it gets me through the day. I've never actually had a full work day when I've been using it and have had to actually charge it midday. So definitely above average battery life. Something else to discuss with the MateBook Pro X is how warm does it get? And I actually just got done playing some Fortnite on here. Uh, and I find that uh, the center part here on the bottom of the laptop does get warm for sure, um, but it never overheats. I've never had an issue with it getting too hot on me when it's very intensive, when you're doing a lot of things, maybe watching uh, the YouTube video in 2K or even gaming, like I mentioned, it definitely does get warm, but does not overheat. And the, I find the touchpad stays cool the whole time. So the touchpad definitely never gets warm. 
So just some overall thoughts about the MateBook X Pro. I am thoroughly impressed. I really enjoy bringing this with me on trips. It's just so small, compatible, and it's powerful still. They just packed a lot into a smaller laptop and it looks great. Of course, they sacrificed the placement of that webcam down to the bottom keyboard. So if you do a lot of web chatting, that might be an issue. But if not, it's really not that big of a deal if you, if you do any casual web chats. Uh, but that screen to bezel ratio is gorgeous. And in my opinion, worth the changing of placement of that webcam. So right now, Huawei is doing a lot right with the MateBook X Pro, especially that price point they're hitting with that deal they have going on. Two USB Type-C slots and a Type-A slot. Solid battery life, great performance, just an overall hit. Good job, Huawei. So anyways, hopefully you enjoyed my review video. Uh, a lot more to come, actually, so be sure to click that subscribe button. Again, follow on Twitch if you're interested. We could talk about tech there and do lots of stuff like that. But overall, that's it. Hope you enjoyed that video, and as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.